up everyone, Kyle here, otherwise known as Twisted 500, back with another video. I'm going to be testing one ethanol R today. Uh, so I got my drums of just E85 here. I'm going to see the difference between uh, just normal E85, which is actually E75. I have tested it here. We're going to try it with the one ethanol R. When you look up one ethanol R on one ethanol's website, it doesn't say what the actual ethanol content is. You can just see it says E85 with a little plus, and just as 117 is the octane rating. As you guys can see here, one ethanol R, uh, E85 plus, uh, octane rating of 117, which is much higher than just normal E85. So for those of you that don't know, normal E85 is roughly 105 octane. This is what I was using at Mod Nats. You turn it, you can see it's about E76, 77. So obviously anything over E70, that mark is good. Uh, you'll be good to go. You won't need anything there. Uh, anything more than that. So yeah, it wasn't just E75 roughly at Mod Nats, and this is what we're using now. So, so yeah, Mod Nats was just E75. Definitely pick up a lot more power from the one ethanol R. We have seen that already. Car went 173, um, which is five mile an hour more on four less PSI actually than Mod Nats um, with just the one ethanol R. So the car did pick up quite a bit of power just doing that. Also, some of the weight out did help as well. So, first off, let's just start with how do you test the E85. So, first thing you need an E85 tester. It will come with two lines, it will come with a line there. It's a big blue line, it says water fill line. You fill the water all the way up to there. You take your E85 and you fill it up all the way to this upper line up there. It will separate out, which you guys saw in this one. It separates out, you can see like a clear line. I went ahead and put a fuel stabilizer in it for you guys, just so you could see, because it is a fuel stabilizer that I have is colored blue. So that way you can more easily see the difference, but see, you can see it shaking around. There's a distinct line between what is uh, E85, is all that, and then the gasoline up top, and that's how you read the number where it gives you your E85 percentage. So one thing that I like to do is just a glass jar. This just happens to be an olive jar and then a, a syringe, 60 ml syringe. Actually, I will just fill this up with the E85, test it, and I'll show you the process of how to do that. All right, guys, as you guys saw, I'd already had some jugs set up from a Midwest Heads Up event last Saturday where I went to 60 foot and all that. Uh, I have a barrel at HPJ, so I'm not going to open up any of these barrels. I'm gonna leave these pails for like the tracks, things like that, once the barrel is used and not open these and expose them. But I'm gonna get set up, I'm gonna show you step by step how to test the uh, E85, so in that way you guys uh, can test yourself and know that you're testing accurately. I have seen some people, uh, not any of you guys, have seen some people make mistakes, test incorrectly, and you can really, really hurt a motor doing that. So we're going to get set up, I'll show you guys how to do it, and then we'll see what the actual ethanol content of one ethanol R is. So let's get going. As you guys can see, I already got it set up. Um, hopefully it focuses, but you see a little, you always see like a little curve in the water. That's called the meniscus line. Water just will adhere to the sides of the bottle, go up a little bit higher. So you'll see that. I already got the one ethanol R mixed into this, and then we'll get mixing up. So as you can see, so you can see water is right on the line there, and then I'll fill up with the one ethanol R all the way to there. The reason why you do this is because the ethanol and the water will mix together. It will separate anything else out. So with that, that's why uh, barrels and things like that, you don't want to set directly on the floor. Uh, you want them elevated off the ground because they're absor the E85 are ab absorb that moisture and get ruined. So let me get this mixed in. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to take the syringe. This stuff even smells strong. I'm just going to mix up. Usually takes about one and a half of these. I've been doing this enough to know almost how much it takes. There's 
one. And there's two. Just put the cap on, give it a couple good shakes, and then we'll let it sit and see what it reads. So there it is, it's been enough time to check. You honestly can't even tell a difference between the two. It's ever so slightly. I would say probably 89, I'm sorry, 98, 99% ethanol with whatever else they're mixing in to get that octane up a little bit but you almost can't even tell the difference between it. It's almost all mixed in with the water. All right, guys, so there it is. Pretty simple on how to test E85. Um, obviously, this is what it would more look like if there's any real big separation. Uh, I waited a little bit just to check it. It does, I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but it does look like there is a little bit there. You can tell maybe a slight edge. So it is not 100% ethanol, obviously, because that would be considered like my car would then be an alcohol racer, but there is a little bit in there and it is very very high percentage so there it is guys any questions let me know uh, this is something that I have been asked about before I figured I'd sh let you guys share I would share with you guys about how to do it obviously E85 uh, there and then one ethanol R there so there it is guys that is how you test ethanol you saw the difference between E75 and one ethanol R obviously unless you're big big horsepower anything over E70 you'll be fine with it. if you guys have any questions or things in the future and what you guys want to see let me know in the comments but until then I'll see y'all soon